Greetings from Kalium TV, and welcome to part two of episode two of 360 with C3. I am your host, Mr. C3. Today, we are going to continue talking about choosing the right string for your instrument. In the last video, we talked about scale length. Today, I want to talk to everybody about tension. And no, not the tension in your family or your relationship, but the tension on your string. So tension, what is it? How does it work? And how does it affect me? Well, let's start by simply looking at the definition of tension. In physics, tension describes the pulling force exerted by each end of a string, cable, chain, or similar one-dimensional continuous object, or by each end of a rod, truss member, or similar three-dimensional object. So what does that mean for us that play stringed instruments? It's how tight the string is pulled. So how does this affect you? Or I should say, how does it affect your instrument? Well, discussing tension is kind of a slippery slope. There are different approaches to tension, especially on bass, and there really isn't a right or wrong way to do it. There are those who love low tension with rigid strings and those who love higher tension with a more flexible string, like me. And any combination in between is available, so there is no right or wrong way to do this. As I like to tell people, it's all ice cream! You like the flavor you like. So first, let's talk about some averages. As we discussed in the scale length video, there are so many builders moving outside the norm that you really need to know a little more about your strings than you used to. Both bass and guitar strings have normally been classified as some form of light, medium, heavy, extra light, extra heavy, and so on. But these lines are getting blurred as builders are creating these new instruments and drifting into new scale lengths. And the same string can be light on one instrument and heavy on another, just like we talked in part one of this video. So let's run through some current industry standards. And I use those terms loosely. I'm just basing this on stuff I see on labels on packs of competitor strings. On a 34 to 35 inch scale base, your ultralight tension can start at 32 pounds and it'll go all the way up to extra heavy at 48. A 36 to 37 inch scale base will have an ultralight tension of about 33 pounds and an extra heavy uh, upwards around 49. On a 39 to 40 inch scale base, the average tensions can be an ultralight of about 34 uh, pounds, all the way up to an extra heavy of 50. As you see the pattern, and the longer the scale of the instrument, the uh, higher the tension becomes. Other popular instruments like the base 6 have a 30 inch scale, which make the ultralight to extra heavy range from 25 to 33 pounds. Um, once we get into the guitars though, the guitars, you know, they, they shrink up to the 25 to 26 inch scale length and uh, their tensions get a lot less. An ultralight guitar set will be about 16 pounds and a light will be about 17 and it steps up medium 18, heavy 19, extra heavy 20. A medium scale length guitars of the 27 to 28 inch scale length will have a range of 20 to 26 pounds from ultralight to extra heavy. And last but not least, you have the 29 to 30 inch scale um, guitars which will start at 25 pounds in ultralight and go all the way up to 33 pounds for extra heavy. So you have a lot of options in there depending on what you like. And again, these are generalizations. Different manufacturers label their products differently. What I tried to do here is just give you some averages so that you uh, have a better idea of what you're looking at when you're checking out the tension calculator. So I've put all these averages in the video description below so you can go back and check it out as we discuss the tension calculator later in this video. As I said earlier, there is no correct tension, just the tension that works for you. I personally use many different tensions on different instruments. My hard rock basses I roll with the heavy range, on my fretless 6 I use light, and the Pratt 24 falls into the ultralight category. I encourage you to experiment with different tensions and different playing styles. It's like trying a different guitar. Don't fall into the rut of just using or doing what you always have. Branch out, try new things, and have some fun. So, let's make it even more confusing. In the past, bass string sets were primarily available in progressive or what we call traditional tension, meaning there's more tension on the higher strings than there is on the lower strings. Kalium Strings was the first company to bring to market a full line of balanced tension sets. These were sets of strings for both guitar and bass designed to have as close to the same tension on every string so that your low strings have the same tension as your high strings. Keep in mind that some of the over-counter bass sets can have up to a 10 pound difference between the tension on the lowest string and the tension on the highest string. This will affect the way you play, requiring you to change the amount of energy needed to activate the string or fret the string. 
So that's why Kalium uh, came out with their balanced sets. Now I want to emphasize again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. If you want 30 pounds of tension on your E string, 40 pounds on your D, 12 on your E, if you, if you want to make it work, do what makes you happy. That's why we offer both traditional and balanced sets, as well as our entire catalog of strings as singles. So if you want to create your own alternate tuning or your own alternate tension, go for it! So now I'm going to walk you through using the tension calculator. For this example, I'm using my Pratt. It has a 33 inch scale length, is tuned F sharp to F, F sharp B, E, A, D, G, C, F, straight force. First thing you do is simply enter the scale length of your instrument. Hit the generate button. You will be presented with a window that has a data header across the top consisting of the scale length, unit weight, gauge, and then the 12 note scale. Below that is a scrolling window, one line for every string we make. So I am looking for the F sharp string that is closest to the ultralight or about 32 to 34 pounds of tension. I choose to error on the lighter side, so if there isn't a string that is dead on, I usually will fall to the lighter side. So again, let's enter 33 in the scale length and generate the chart. Since all of our sets are based on the first string, and I am looking for a complete set, all I need to know is the first F sharp. I don't need to look up the tension of all the strings. So I scroll down watching the F sharp column, and I look for the strings that fall into the tension that I am looking for, 32 to 34 pounds. You will see all the different F sharp octaves available. We want the F sharp below standard E. So here we are, a 174 string on a 33 inch scale length will be 32.96 pounds, right in the middle. So I now know I want a 174 on my low F sharp. Before we go looking for our set, let's make sure that searching the site is easier by understanding the Kalium SKU system. Base SKUs are as follows. B for base, the second letter is either H or S for our hybrid or steel strings, then dash, gauge of the lowest string, dash, string count, tension category, which is B for balance, T for traditional, D for drop tune, or then your scale length, S for standard, M for medium, L for long. So our example base set is BH 174-8BS, base hybrid 174, eight string balanced standard scale. Guitar skews are slightly different because we only make our guitar string in hybrid. So it starts off with G for guitar, then your string count, H for the hybrid material, then a dash to the high string gauge, dash to the low string gauge, then your tension type. With guitar sets, we don't have balanced and traditional. We have topside categories that look like this. No letters equals balanced. MT, medium top, LT, light top, XT, extra light top. It's pretty self-explanatory, but the higher strings get lighter with each step up the scale. Now, we hop over to the website, and let's do a quick search for that eight string bass set we're looking for. Following our SKU format, we enter in the search window BH-174-8BS, and there you have it, the 174 Balanced Hybrid 8-String Set. Now, if you were to remove the BS, you would get all of our 174 8-String Sets, just if you want to check it out. Something to note is that our calculator is specific to our strings, meaning that the unit weight of a Kalium 102 will not be the same as all other manufacturers 102. Different core and wrap sizes yield different units weight. That is why we carry our unit weights to so many decimal places to give you extra details. But you can get a general idea of the range a string will fall in. So try putting in the scale length of your base and then putting in the gauges of your E, A, D, and G. See where you land. You may be surprised at what you find. The tension calculator will be evolving and growing. We hope to have links to products directly from the calculator. But for now, you can get a really good idea of what tension you are using and have a tool to help you explore alternate tensions and alternate tunings. It's also helpful when you have a fan fret multi-scale instrument. You can change the scale length of the calculator when you're calculating each of your individual strings. Okay, I know this is a long one, folks, and thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, find us on Facebook, and sign up for our newsletter. We send out discount coupons all the time in that newsletter. And remember, all the links and data are in the description below. So until next time, have a great day.